Hi, I'm Henry Robinson and I'm a Cloudera engineer. Today I want to talk about support for events, logs and alerts in Cloudera Manager 3.7. These are the set of features we built into Cloudera Manager to help make sense of all the discrete events that are happening all the time in an Apache Hadoop cluster. Let's start by taking a look at our log features. Every process in a Hadoop cluster regularly writes to a log file, usually on a local disk, that contains critical information for debugging and diagnosing faults. The problem is that it can be very inconvenient to have to log in to a particular machine to manually view these log files, and it can be very hard to piece together the information that you're looking for, which is usually just a small fraction of the output produced from gigabytes of log text and across hundreds of machines at once. Cloudera Manager manages searching and aggregating log files across all services and all roles for you. Here we're looking at an HDFS service in Cloudera Manager's service monitoring view. We can use the log search panel at the bottom of the screen to access the service's log messages in the same view as all the other monitoring data. Let's go ahead and search for all log messages produced by the HDFS service during the time range we've selected at the top of the screen. Cloudera Manager knows which log files to search according to the service being viewed, and intelligently and efficiently searches for messages produced only in the selected time range. Since there is often a great deal of log output produced, Cloudera Manager allows you to aggressively filter the search results, both by the severity of the log message and by a regular expression which the log text should match. Here, for example, I'm looking only for warning level messages that match the data node registration keyword. This is great for finding a particular message or for quickly filtering down the set of messages a service produces. Of course, sometimes there's no substitute for getting at the entire log file, and Cloud Error Manager allows you to do that. Here, by clicking on the log message text, we are taken immediately to the log file viewer. Cloud Error Manager takes the original log file passes it and formats it so it's easy to read and makes it simple to page through a number of lines at a time. The whole log file is accessible through Cloudera Manager and is downloadable with a simple click. Now let's talk about events. Where log messages capture the only certain kinds of information from a single process, Cloudera Manager can capture much more information from the cluster. Much of that information is captured by the events service, which is new to Cloudera Manager 3.7. Whenever something interesting or important happens in the cluster, Cloudera Manager saves a record for the future so that it becomes very easy to reconstruct the timelines of incidents, or just to find out when some event occurred. Here we're looking at the events search view. This page allows us to search for events that have occurred in a given time range of a particular type or pertaining to a particular service. In Cloud Era Manager 3.7, we can capture four different kinds of events. Let's go over them one by one. Health check events occur when the health of a service or a role changes. This makes it easy to see at a glance exactly when a service may have failed or when, for example, a data node or some other role returned to full health. The second kind of event is log events. Not only do we make the full content of log files easily searchable, as we saw earlier, but Cloudera Manager watches the logs for messages of particular interest and sends them to the event server so that the user's attention can be drawn to them. The third kind of event is activity monitoring events. Cloudera Manager allows you to specify configurable timeouts for each of your jobs individually. If a job exceeds its timeout, an event will be generated. The same is true if a job fails. The final source of events is user actions events, such as restarting a service, changing a configuration, or adding a new user to Cloud Era Manager. User action events make it very easy to see if cluster outages are the result of an erroneous configuration change or a deliberate service shutdown. Here we can see on December 13th, a new user was created. And more recently, 
an administrator user executed a command on a name node. The event search page allows you to search by event category and by individual event type, as well as by service, by keyword, and by originating host. Events are also built into the monitoring view in much the same way as log messages. The events pane at the bottom of the screen can be used to search for events in just the same way as in the event search view. Important events are summarized on the charts above. Clicking one of the indicators populates the events pane below. Finally, I want to talk about our alerting features. Cloudera Manager can proactively notify users when certain events occur. In version 3.7, you can opt to receive emails when activity monitoring events occur and when health check events happen. It's very easy to set up. You simply tell Cloudera Manager about the location of your mail server, give it a list of recipients, and you can select one of three message format types. An HTML message is convenient for user-readable alerts, but a JSON formatted email is extremely useful for integrating with your existing alert infrastructure. So in summary, we've looked at log messages, we've looked at events, and we've taken a quick look at our alerting features in Cloud Error Manager 3.7. Thanks very much for watching.